For example, if I sketch a line and move it close to horizontal, a horizontal line flag pops up next to the cursor. Close to vertical, a vertical line flag pops up. If I click to complete the line while the flag is showing, the line is vertical. It not only appears to be vertical, but it has a geometric constraint of vertical. The vertical constraint is graphically represented by the flag that appears next to the line. The same type of flag will appear if I sketch a horizontal line, except it has a horizontal flag. This method of adding constraints on the fly is called creating automatic constraints. If these flags don't appear in the sketch, you can toggle them on and off by pressing the F8 and F9 keys on your keyboard. F8 turns them on and F9 turns them back off. I'll begin sketching a new line and sketch another line from the endpoint. Now you can see a different type of feedback. A perpendicular symbol pops up next to the first line I sketched and a perpendicular flag next to the cursor. I'll click to create the line while these symbols are showing and a perpendicular constraint is added. Here, again, you can see the associated flag type appears in the sketch next to the intersection point of the two perpendicular lines. Geometric constraints are a way for you to control the behavior of the geometry. For instance, if I click and drag the vertical line I sketched earlier, no matter where I drag the cursor, the line always remains vertical. When I click and drag either of the perpendicular lines, you can see the perpendicular constraint is maintained. Let's take a look at a few other automatic constraints. Here, I have an existing line, and I want to create a line parallel to it. To do this, I'll start sketching a line. Notice, if I create the line close to the same angle, no feedback appears in the graphics window. That's because I first have to let Inventor know what geometry to reference. So, I'll move the cursor towards the existing line and pull away. Now, when the line gets close to the same angle, Inventor recognizes that the line I'm sketching should be parallel to the other line. The appropriate flags appear next to the cursor, so I'll click to finish the line. Watch as I click and drag the line. No matter how I change the geometry, both lines stay parallel to each other. If you have a circle, you can create a line tangent to it using automatic constraints. I'll create a line. Click the circle to place the first point, and as I drag the cursor close to tangent, you can see the tangent symbol appears. I'll click to finish the line, and since the constraint was added automatically, I can click and drag the endpoint of the line and it always stays tangent with the circle. 